Hello everyone. Today we'll configure our DC Windows Server 2012 and 2016 R2. Just prerequisites for setup RODC, the read only domain controller. It's for primary domain controller DC, it's mandatory. And uh, this is the primary domain controller. Just check IP address of my primary domain controller. In this tutorial, uh, I'll show you the total tutorial of RODC from A to Z, means uh, configure RODC and client connection also. Okay, uh, this is my DC domain controller, primary domain controller IP address 192.168.0.1. This is my primary domain domain controller. Okay. And uh, my domain name is epgitrnd.com. Yeah, this is my domain controller DC1, the name, computer name, and domain epgitrnd.com. This is my domain name. Okay, just remember it. Another prerequisite for setup RODC is Windows Server 2012 or 2016 R2 installed server or PC, uh, where I install Rode Rode Global Controller feature or role. First, I have to configure IP address. So, IP address configure configuration in RODC. So this is my RDC IP address 192.168.0.10 and the primary DNS is my uh, my domain controller DNS and uh, IP address and my alternative DNS and DNS is my RDC IP address. Uh, please uh, check this. Okay. See carefully. Okay. Now, add roles from server manager, means add RODC roles from server manager. It's a typing mistake. Uh, it's, uh, it will uh, roll server manager. I'll go to server manager. Uh, it's my uh, RODC PC or server. Uh, so now I, I am just installing, the, I will install the server role, RODC server role, okay. Just go to manager, manage, and then click on add roles and features. Manage, and click add roles and features. Ready to begin. Just click next. Next, the server name and IP address, next. And, uh, you select the Active Directory Domain Controller Domain Services. Domain Service, Active Directory Domain Service. Okay, next. Nothing required, next. Okay, install. You have to wait some uh, minutes to, to complete the installation. Then uh, you have to promote your RDC in the Domain Controller.
the setup is complete now now just promote the server to the domain controller okay another step to promote a read only domain controller click on promote the server to the domain controller uh, here is the three option oh, add a domain controller to an existing domain add a new domain to an existing forest add a new forest uh, we have a domain controller so uh, we just add a domain controller uh, to, to an existing domain this is the first option i have to check uh, now uh, the my domain name is epgitrng.com uh, in the domain name uh, box and then uh, connect to the administrator user of my domain controller no not rdc um, not this pc uh, this is the my domain controller administrator the domain admin that's mean Okay, this is my domain, epgitrng, administrator, and now put uh, my password, okay, the administrator password of my domain, okay, then click next, Here, you have to check uh, the read only domain controller RDC checkbox. Another two options domain name service, DNS server, and global catalog already checked. Uh, but you have to check read only domain controller uh, to make this server as an RDC. Okay. Okay. Just give a password for restore DSRM password and remember this password okay next yeah uh, here is the delegate delegated admins accounts you can select or otherwise elect it and uh, another two options the accounts that are uh, that are allowed to replicate passwords to the rodc and another option the accounts that are denied for replication password to the rodc uh, here, uh, if you uh, put uh, any user ID, a username to the uh, replicate password, then the, the, uh, that password will be replicated, okay? And now select the replicate from the server. If you have a two server, then you select any uh, any controller. If you have one server, then you can select your the domain controller server. It's uh, not an issue. You can select uh, any domain controller or your selected domain controller. Okay, now next. And then to check the prerequisite. Yeah, prerequisite is successfully uh, checked. Okay, now install. This installation takes some minutes. Just do it. Okay.
configure DNS server service on this computer. Yeah, the install successful instant and we're about to sign out. The automatically re reboot the RDC server. Yeah, restarting. Now another task is the password replication or password cache in RDC. Uh, that means uh, which user uh, you will put on the RDC or which user authenticated from this RDC server, you have to uh, select this or you have to make this server, make this user uh, to the replicated replicate password replication group. Okay. Uh, now uh, they go to the Active Directory users and groups and check the users. Yeah, domain controller. Uh, I have an one domain controller uh, that was RDC one and uh, one um, RDC domain controller, Reno domain controller. Okay. Now password replication group. Uh, you should put your uh, user which is under uh, which was under uh, which is under RDC. This is my uh, two user, IT3 and IT4. This will be replicated. This will be replicated from RDC. Or password case. Password or the case from RDC server. Okay. That means uh, my user and one another user, is one uh, will will be authenticated uh, from RDC. This is the password replication group and also password cache group. Now the client domain join to RDC is the final part how to join a client to RODC first you have to configure your IP address uh, this is my client uh, whose IP address is uh, 192.168.0.11 and the domain name here the domain DNS server uh, the 19216 and 0.10 is my RDC server. So this client is directly connected uh, to the domain controller uh, through RDC, not directly connected to my DC. This is connected to my RDC. That's why the DNS server is uh, DNS server IP address is RDC IP address. The computer is not uh, uh, connected to the domain controller now. Uh, Now join to the domain, yeah. Just put my domain address EPG IT RND dot com. Yeah, this is my domain domain name. Just okay. Pop up username and password. Just put administrator and put the administrator password. Okay. Welcome to the EPG IT RNG dot com domain. You must restart the computer. The computer will restart now. Click the restart now. The PC join to the RDC. Thanks for watching this video.